Charles Darwin pointed out in The Descent of Man that natural selection would act to preserve those individuals which were least encumbered with a superfluous part. Rather than argue that neo-Darwinian processes are insufficient to account for the gradual evolution of irreducibly complex systems, couldn't the case be made that natural selection would actually prevent major evolutionary change from occurring on a gradual step-by-step -step basis and thus help account for the natural phenomenon of stasis? Natural selection uh, is certainly a real force. It will uh, tend to weed out those organisms which are less fit. But now one has to ask the question, what will make an organism less fit? Organisms seem to be provided with a lot of molecular machinery to allow them to, to live and reproduce and, and so forth. I, I show a, a, a picture of a little bacterial flagellum and the flagellum is very useful for allowing single-celled bacteria to swim through uh, liquid and gather food and so on and so forth. Now, suppose a creature is born without some of this machinery uh, on the, on the uh, level of whole organs. Uh, suppose, a, a, um, suppose a monkey was born without legs or without arms or, or something like that. It would be at a severe disadvantage with respect to to its uh, uh, brother and sister animals, and would likely uh, be outcompeted and and left behind in in the the race to pass on its genes. However, that just speaks to preserving a complicated piece of machinery that was already there, and so uh, looked at it in that perspective. And uh, natural selection is a very great conserving force bacteria that lost their flagellum would tend not to uh, survive. Uh, animals that lost limbs, lost vision, lost hearing and so forth would also tend to be at a severe disadvantage and, and not survive. And so if one looks at the fossil record, one sees very great periods uh, in which uh, fossils of, of, of extinct creatures stay the same over long periods of time. And one can, can credit that, probably, uh, to natural selection, weeding out the ones who's, uh, in which some mistake caused it to, to lose some of its, of its uh, machinery necessary for life. Uh, the big question, however, is where did that machinery come from in the first place? And, and right now, the, the, uh, the idea that natural selection could produce that is... is um, really a speculative hypothesis, and when one looks at it in detail, uh, there are strong reasons to think that it cannot uh, build, but it certainly can preserve.